Hello everyone, welcome to the video on anti-anginal agents. In this video, I will explain the drug treatment for angina pectoris. I will give all the important points which are essential for the exam point of view. Now, to treat angina pectoris, there are four classes are there. Organic nitrovasodilators, calcium channel blockers, beta blockers and antiplatelet agents. We will see one by one. Now, organic nitrovasodilators, the important drugs are nitroglycerin, which is also known as glycerol trinitrate. Isosorbide dinitrate, isosorbide mononitrate. How do they act? All of them act by releasing nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a potent vasodilators. Now the effect is especially seen with veins. Especially veins are dilated, hence they are known as venodilators. This results in reduced preload, reduced afterload. Along with veins, they also dilate coronary blood vessels, which increases blood supply to the heart. So because of these factors, these drugs are used to treat typical angina as well as variant or vasospastic angina. Now, the common adverse effects. Remember, all the vasodilators has got common adverse effects. They are tachycardia, which is also known as reflex tachycardia, increase in heart rate. And then, flushing. Redness will be seen because blood vessel is dilated, a lot of blood will be there, redness will be seen. This is called as flushing and accompanied with headache. Headache will come. So, these three are the common adverse effects. Now, along with that, organic nitrovasodilators, most of the drugs will show first pass effect. That means when they are taken orally from the stomach, they get into the liver wherein they get metabolized. First, they pass through liver and metabolized, hence it is called as first pass effect. The bioavailability of the drug reduces. This is the reason why all these drugs are used as sublingual drugs. Second one, they develop tolerance to. In a short period, if the drugs are given repeatedly, the effectiveness of the drug is reduced. This is called tolerance. So these two you need to consider. The other thing, these drugs should never be given along with phosphodiesterase 3 inhibitors like sildenafil. Phosphodiesterase 3 enzyme inhibitors also cause vasodilation. Organic nitrovasodilators also cause vasodilation. It gives profound vasodilation which may cause severe hypotension. So this is about nitrovasodilators. Coming to the next group, calcium channel blockers, important drugs are virapamil, diltiazem and dihydropyridines. Dihydropyridine class drugs are dipines, nifedipine, amlodipine, nisoldipine, all these drugs. Now, same, all these drugs, they block calcium channel, reduce contraction, so they cause vasodilation. Now, again in this, virapamil, diltiazem are cardioselective, their, their action is profoundly seen on heart, whereas dihydropyridines are vasoselective, their effect is on blood vessels. Now, nifedipine should not be used because it causes severe reflex tachycardia, so it should be avoided. Now, other things, the common adverse effects are tachycardia, flushing and headache, these are common adverse effects. Now, along with that, virapamil may also cause constipation and ankylodema. So these things you need to remember. Coming to the beta blockers, now beta blockers there are two different groups are there, beta 1 selective, non-selective. Now see beta receptors there are two kinds of receptors are there, beta 1 which is present on heart, beta 2 which is present on bronchial tree. By blocking beta 1 receptors you can control heart rate and reduce oxygen demand. But by blocking bronchial tree beta receptors you may precipitate asthma or worsen the condition of asthma. So beta 1 selective drug should be used. Now, what are the beta-1 selective drugs? Etinolol, metoprolol, esmolol. Non-selective beta blockers, propanolol, pindolol, nadolol, timolol. This is it. Now, the last drug, antiplatelet agent, especially aspirin is used. From 75 to 150 mg, low dose of aspirin is taken every night before sleep. It is to reduce platelet actions. It is to reduce platelet aggregation. Now, along with this, there are certain new miscellaneous drugs are there. I will just mention their names because they may come as options. Now, the first one is Nicorandel. Nicorandel is a potassium channel opener and nitric oxide releaser. So, they cause vasodilation, Nicorandel. After that, Evapredine. Evapredine causes bradycardia, reduces in heart rate, reduces oxygen demand. Ranolazine. It blocks sodium channel, reduces cardiac activity. Renolazine. Trimetazidine. Trimetazidine is a drug which inhibits fatty acid oxidation. When fatty acid oxidation is reduced, heart will depend upon glycolysis. So, oxygen demand is reduced. Last one, molsdomine. Molsdomine is a direct not nitric oxide releaser, causes vasodilation. So, all these are anti anginal agents. All the best.